हेलो एवरीवन अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज सेल्स एक्सीटर एंड सेल्स सीक्वेंस लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सेल्स एक्सीटर फर्स्ट सो वंस वी ओपन सेल्स हब एप्लीकेशन ऑन लेफ्ट साइड वी सी सेल्स एक्सीटर अंडर माय वर्क दिस इज विजिबल टू यू बिकॉज यूर एडमिन हैज कन्फिगर्ड दिस फॉर यू हाउ लेट मी शो यू because this is already configured by admin you can edit the settings from here let me duplicate the tab for the demonstration purpose we can enable sales accelerator for all security roles or specific roles record type and form you can see at present only record type is lead and default form is sales trial if i go to leads sales leads if i open any lead i can see lead have three forms lead sales insight and sales trial same forms are visible over here let me go back to sales accelerator if i click on first lead it's showing me sales trial because i have chosen sales trial over here if i choose sales insight publish refresh which for sales insight so with the help of sales accelerator we can focus on those things which are very important for us let me add more record types let's say it is all i want to keep sales insight publish refresh So now in my work list I can see leads as well as opportunities. We can do one thing from here we can filter like we require record type I want to see only opportunities or I want to see only leads. So we can see this opportunity and we can see sales inside form. So in this way we can add more records and for each record we can specify which is default form for sales accelerator please notice that the sequence up next component that shows sequence steps and upcoming activities will be automatically added to sales insight form so what will happen in case you choose some other form there is a possibility this component is not visible although you can add later on as well but best practice is to keep sales insight form as default form so what is this sequence up next component this component on the sales insight form let's talk more about sequence now before going deep into sequences let me share with you what are the benefits of using the sequence sequence helps sales manager enforce best practices by introducing a set of consecutive activities for sellers to follow during the course of their work you can see here we already have two sequences let me show you sequence start an email wait for 5 days reminder email wait for 5 days call customer for 5 days and thank you email similarly we can make this kind of sequence or more advanced sequence let's create a new sequence 
So when we create a sequence, we have two options. We can create from scratch or we can create using a template. Let's for example, let me choose this template webinar follow up is for record type lead use a template sequence since this sequence is created based on the template it has many predefined steps steps conditions you can modify this sequence as per your requirement or you can create from scratch so let me create a sequence from the scratch for example start from blank sequence there are various kind of steps let me choose a single step over here for the purpose of demonstration let's take completed task Make a phone call. I can also add conditions over here, like field value, for example, lead source equal web in conditions i can see yes or no a field value lead source equal web so first task is check legal compliance then make a phone call about reconfirming the offer then in checking the field value based on the field value we'll take the different paths to go through based on the field value we'll go to different paths either yes or no so when you create a sequence you define the activities you want your seller to perform and the order to perform as they handle records this lets sellers concentrate on selling and give them a better understanding of what to do next so after creation of this sequence, let me save and activate. Activate. Let me go to a lead. You can see up next is empty as of now you can connect sequence from here or from here so we can connect a sequence manually from lead record or from the grid itself let me connect the sequence like sample sequence connect The first step is check legal compliance. See in previous step there is nothing. When I mark complete, it's saying please enter a phone number for this lead.
Step 2 is reconfirm our offer. Let me also mark complete. Step 4. In third step, we check the value. If answer is yes, confirm offer. As lead source is web, it is asking for confirm offer. Mark complete. Let me take another lead. Here my lead source will be seminar. Connect sequence. Mark complete. Mark complete. Since the lead source is seminar, but in field value we mentioned web. So answer is false. So it's going this way. We wait for one hour. Then we'll phone call for offer again. So after 58 minutes, it will create a phone call activity for me. In previous steps, we can see we have done these steps. Please notice that in the demonstration, I have connected the sequence with the lead in manual way. We can also connect sequence with the records automatically. Let me show you how. Go to work assignment. The new segment. Leads. So all the leads their rating is equal to hot let me activate let me go to sequence back sample sequence we go to option connected leads You can see both the leads which I connected in manual way. Let's connect segment over here. Sample segment which I just made. Please notice that lead created before segment connected would not be automatically added to sequence. You can manually connect the way we did last time. Connect. Okay, let me make new lead. Because in segment I mentioned reading should be hot for the automatic connection of the lead with the sequence. Yeah, here you come. So you can see that because rating was hot and we have defined in the segment connection of the lead. 
so on creation of this lead this sequence is automatically assigned to this lead so we briefly discuss about sales accelerator sales sequence how to connect sales sequence manually and how to connect sales sequence automatically and also use power automate for auto connection purpose so with the help of sales accelerator and sales sequence we can increase the productivity of sales person and sales manager thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it i will be happy to solve your queries further please mention in comment box or over my website which i have given in description please subscribe to my channel to see such demonstrations thank you